Hi, my name is Arian James from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm currently the choir director for Founder Life Church. Music has been around me, in me, through me, my whole entire life. Just being growing up in Chicago, my whole family sings. My mom, she was a choir director. And just me picking up on gospel music, particularly just growing up in church. I'm a church kid and going to choir rehearsals, sitting in rehearsals, seeing my mom teaching as well when she was part of this community choir, just, just soaking up music and learning different aspects of it. Um, I guess I probably learned my talent was when I kind of got older and branched out on my own and started exploring my musical gifts and just seeing God use me. Mm, I'll probably say I was not interested in directing. I knew, I didn't really even think I could do it. I knew I was good at teaching parts of hearing three-part harmony in my head because I was just doing it growing up. But I'm always the background person. I don't want to be in the spotlight or the limelight, however you want to say it. But I guess just stepping up and trusting, like, okay, I know. I know I can teach and I guess I can try to direct. That was in my head, I guess I can try. But once I started doing it, I, God had shown me he can take little and make much out of it. And I guess me, I kind of start off you know, looking at suggestions or hearing other people's feedback, but then I had to kind of just go with the flow. Like, what do I know? What do, what do I live? And so, I just, it now just comes naturally. Something about gospel music just really gets me going. Since I grew up in it, I know that's a tool that I always seen being used to people accepting Christ, learning the gospel, and even just growing stronger in their spiritual walk. I know you have a lot of people, even now the younger generation, that they just can't hear people, somebody preaching or just talking. Music attracts them, and not just in church, but music attracts anything that you want, usually to get something done or want people to get involved and influenced. Usually music is a great tool to influence them. FOL Choir, I love the FOL Choir. That is, I would probably choose that that is the first ministry that I deeply got involved and in, grew from a teen to an adult. That is the first ministry where I kind of started to branch out and explore just different aspects of God and I also learned to start even worshiping God. As a kid, I didn't, I'd go to church and just enjoy the service, but I never really started to lift my hands and talk to and have conversation with God until I got into the FOL Choir. And I just love that choir. It's, 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 it's truly a family, just full of love. And I just like the fact that when I came in that ministry, I was just quiet, little, sheltered little kid, but it just, it helped me grow into the man I am today. I still remember when my cousin Brittany asked me, oh, do I want to sing? And this, this lady named Alicia, she'll pick us up. And I was like, oh yeah, sure, I guess. And is she nice? And she's like, oh yeah, she's cool. And I remember when Alicia picked me up, I just jumped right in and it just, the rest been there from history. And Fountain Life will be in concert again, May 9th. May 9th will be our next big concert. This time we're doing something different. This will be the reunion concert. So we got a couple of old members as well as some new members and some extra singers from our community to, to come together to have this big powerful event. Um, doing something different. Our theme is grace. So we're just reflecting on all the things that God has brought us from as well as just reflecting on the things that he's done in this ministry and just where we are today. Nothing but his grace. I also have got Denise who she also sung last year in our concert. She'll be returning. She's probably known locally in Madison but also one of the finalists in American Idol. Really awesome. Anointed, talented singer. 
I also have a new artist, Tracy McFadden. She is actually my choir director in my home church in Chicago, Thread of Life. She's also where uh, I kind of learned some of my teaching style and techniques from and somebody who I really look up to and admire. So she just released her gospel CD, so she'll be coming through to do some songs and it's gonna be real powerful. We got Pastor G, he don't know it, but he's coming, he's gonna be doing some singing too. And not to mention, we got some of the baddest dancers in Madison, Keisha, Alexis, FOL dancers, so they're pretty good. Sherry, I'm just hoping that many people can come out and we can all just laugh, love, and just grow together in fellowship and then learn different aspects of God. What does he want to do in our lives in this season? What gifts is he trying to unlock in us? Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please get excited because we're excited and I'll see you May 9th. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. I don't know what to say. All these great people coming, and I, who I'm, I'm really excited who's coming is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what I do? <laughs> what I do? What I do? What I do?